so poor. Let's go. Yay! Can you tell I'm emotionally unstable? Long story short, I'm leaving LA. So, I'm going through shopping. <laughs> Do I have lots of money? Am I gonna spend lots of money? I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope I don't. Let's go. That's how our This story don't have a long history. We met just as the pandemic began. Okay, that's enough. I was really debating whether or not I would start this video with such a terrible singing demonstration, but this store instantly hit with the love bug. Affordable, we buy stuff, and it helps cancer. I mean, fashion has destroyed the world bit by bit, and now somehow it's sustainable and giving back. Damn, cheap. I am not hiding. I'm not embarrassed as fuck to be bringing you guys in here. Bunch of Let me show you guys a quick demonstration. You guys, including Rack, me, Sally and Bob, totally <gasps> outraged because it looks like I'm twerking and all because I really wanted this shot and because I brought you guys in here. COVID means there's no changing rooms, but I'm going to show you guys some cute things. But sort of like a silent movie. Cute retro outfit montage. Nope. Me running out of store after being told off for filming. Stay tuned for the haul at the end. <laughs> store number two. This store is hardcore. It's so vintage, but a hardcore vintage. With guy stuff as well. Oh hey friends. I freaking spend at least 10 seconds staring at this image every single time I enter the store. It sort of reminds me of Zoe Kravitz from High Fidelity. So affordable. Cool. Oh, hey. Cute vintage pockies. Oh my god. Why am I not a size large? The hard vintage shape. The perfect quarantine pants. Little schoolboy styled shorts. This is intimate. <clears throat> Let me translate. Shorts, but a skirt. But an unflattering skirt? The shape, the heel. Uh oh, so I bought something. <laughs> So this next place we are going to is my favorite place in Los Angeles or even just the world. It just has the most affordable vintage designer clothing and such a large, gorgeous selection of clothing. And this stuff is just bellissimo. It doesn't look like much on the outside, but inside is an absolute gem filled with great labels. Great labels. Great labels. Just making sure you got that pun. We have shoes, handbags, jewelry, prints, belts. <sighs> I'm not even a hardcore designer chick, but this stuff in here is just beautiful. Time to get my hands filthy and armed with gorgeous clothes. I went a little bit overboard. But it's okay, guys. Because I sorted it out really quick into this season's prints, some ruffled puffy vintage tops, and some winter clothes for New Zealand. Key montage of ethical fashion. Check this out. Neon retro Nike sweats. Mmm, Buzz Lightyear would wet me. Vivian Westwood Ruffles. Hmm. I'm gonna miss you, LA. With your ridiculously cheap vintage clothes. So today 
be doing this in my bathroom. I kind of like my bathroom. It's kind of got a vibe. Sorry, my bedroom is a mess. Not always a mess. Just packing. This dress. It was just too ridiculously gorgeous yet absolutely effortless to pass up. For $37.50, the bit of beagle and the highlight, the way the bow flies out behind the neck and the old school print. <laughs> Makeshift changing room. <laughs> I succumbed to the diamante on the leg pants. So retro it hurts and elegant. I went totally Audrey with this one and I don't remember the price of everything I got from Great Labels exactly, but it all came to around $96. Yeah, I know. I traded our many genie pants for one week's worth of meals. But these feel like silk. I am literally walking on air. Dropped comfortably low on the waist. Freaking love this cool effortless look. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Oh, it's Buzz Lightyear's fiance. Did I ever do it? This was something like the $40 original, then down with an extra discount dress. And the print is so vintage, retro, beautiful, vibrant. FML, FML, FML. It can be a perfect cocktail dress, or even for more relaxed occasions too, if you wear a belt. Before I got busted in the Cancer Council Society store, I snagged this piece, discounted at 70% from $110 for my lucky day. The colors were it for me, and it's perfect cold weather material, so for once, I planned a little in advance. This was pretty gothic. I admit it. It's squeezed into the disco 80s crazy collar trend at the moment until it got dark and started to look like a vampire. But choked? I mean, who doesn't like a good Wednesday Adams get up though? You know, for those days. I'm going to get society. And I got this top. It was so fun and feminine, I just couldn't resist. With the cutest ruffles. And my last snatch was this belt because all that retro stuff oh. is coming back. Or is back. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you got a kick out of it. I'm gonna leave here. Some more thrifty videos, just in case you guys want to keep watching. Because we have reached the end of this video. <laughs> so I will be back next Friday at 9am, so don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button. If you want. <laughs> and I also know a lot of you guys are new here, so welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!